Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will discuss different sampling techniques in food and drug analysis. First of all, we should know that why we use food and drug analysis. Food and drugs are analyzed for the identity, purity, and nutritional values of the food or drug. Chemical analysis of food is important to establish standards and formulate balanced diet. What is food? Food is a complex heterogeneous mixture of different components used by an organism for growth and other vital processes. And what are the different food parameters? First is the chemical composition. So we should know that the food contains either carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals or other substances. And the physical parameters like the food is solid, liquid, etc. Important steps in food analysis that should be uh, that 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 should be that are important are sampling techniques which are important, sampling instruments, different instruments used during sampling, sample pretreatment is also important, sample storage, and sample analysis. The last one is the analysis of sample. So first of all, what is sample? The whole or a portion of food, biological or any material presented for physical and chemical examination is called sample. Sample is representative of bulk material with all of its intensive properties. <coughs> sample may be homogeneous or heterogeneous and sample may be liquid or solid. There are two types of sample, the perfect sample and composite sample. Perfect sample is the sample when the amount of material is so small that the whole of it constitute a sample. For example, blood, body fluid, water, etc. And comp composite or grass sample, a, sm a small portion of material taken randomly from different containers, lots and mixed together to make a sample makes a composite sample or grass sample like processed food, milk, medicines, etc. Sampling procedures. There are two different methods for sampling. Number first is the manual sampling. For manual sampling, there are different instruments used like thief, trier, drill, etc. And the second one is the continuous sampling. In continuous sampling, directly the sample is separated during the synthesis or processing. Sampling techniques. The first is the sample collection. Sample collection may be done by hand or mechanical way. Mechanical sampling is more accurate and error free. The second one is the quantity of sample. If the material is in small quantity, then whole of it is taken as a perfect sample. From large quantity, material should be mixed thoroughly before taking sample. From different containers or lots, small quantity is taken from each lot and mixed to make composite sample. If it is difficult to make composite sample, then analyze each sample separately. Means each container is from each container sample is taken and analyzed separately. Sample container. Container should be clean and dry where sample is to be stored, free of bacterial or any other microbial contamination, cannot be spoiled by light, heat, or enzymatic reaction. And it should be free of contamination by different chemicals or substances. The second, uh, next is the sample labeling. How we should label our sample? Name of the sample, amount of sample, quantity of origin material, original material, lot number, date, time, and place of the sampling, and name of the owner. These should be mentioned or labeled on the sample. Sample storage conditions should be checked. For example, temperature, light, humidity, pH, contact with air. So all these conditions must be obeyed. For different samples, these conditions may be different or vary. Sampling instruments we make another video for sampling instruments. 